How's the mandrone going? That now is that I'm just going to do these gall wing arms. So I have to fiberglass those on there at the correct angle. I've done two already and I'm quite happy with those. I first put these inserts in which bridge the gap of the connection. That will be packed out with fiberglass chop, that will be two. And then they're mounted in this gym. So every, every arm will be at the correct angle. We are going to end up with these arms being horizontal because I'm going to set them all up with a laser. So get my actual frame level and then I will get a laser and scan across and make sure before I fiberglass these arms in that I've got them absolutely all of them bang on level. I've marked the apex there, the top there so I can line them up. So I've just got one more to do today. So that will go on there like so. And then that one will come out too can go on there. And we're all good. That's taken all the, all the gloss of it and roughed it up inside, put some ridges in. And that will go into this part of the jig. Plenty of Vaseline on these edges so that when the resin meets it doesn't stick to them. putting it together, rotating this arm so it matches that arm and then I'll mark it with some paint. Um, so put it together without the stuff first, make sure it's going where you want it without any hindrance or fiberglass. Mark it and then split the mould and then prep the fiberglass ready and and then go again with the full of fiberglass. So if you look at this gap here, you can see it's not... Uh, I've got to rotate it until it uh, comes together. I'll put these in as well. Right, so what we're going to do now, these are bolted together, I'll just rotate this till we get the right. This is why you have a jig. The jig is the same for every piece.
see anything. Yeah, you kind of, when you've done it a few times, you know what you're looking at. And just make sure that I've not uh, got any fibres going across my conduit that's running through. I flattened it against the wall. Right, that's good. Job done. Leave it now. And when it's uh, been in probably a couple of hours, I can cut most of that with a craft knife. So everything's overnight cured now, Michael. How are we looking? Yeah, it's looking good. Now, I'm going to shorten them up because uh, I, I think it's a disadvantage to have them so long. I want to move this propeller in to just clear the uh, battery containers. Whatever you